This town on Pakistan's coast was once a thriving agricultural hub. Now, much of Karachi's Keti Bandar is underwater due to rising sea levels. It's forced some residents to relocate. The water flooded our houses, so we had to move. We had no way of sustaining ourselves here. In time, these houses will also be flooded. A few days ago, this area was underwater. We drained it and have put up some barricades, but they won't last. What else can we do? We're helpless. Many people's cash crop was rice. But now younger farmers are switching to fishing. There were a lot of farms as the fresh water of the river Indus reached here. Our primary crop was rice. The area was famous for its red rice. You can still see the remains of the mill. We used to have a booming agriculture industry. Although the government built embankments in 1994, much of the region remained swampy, if not completely flooded. A risk for Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, and its 17 million residents. Uh, there's no landmass between Antarctica and Northern Arabian Sea. So if any change is just because of the uh, climate change or climate shift, if it is getting melt, melt is pretty hard, it's directly hit to uh, Pakistan coast. Karachi is a lifeline of Pakistan. There's a lot of industries and ports and harbors are there. Next week, environmentalists and members of the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change will be discussing a report on the future of the world's oceans at a meeting in Monaco. But with glacial ice at the poles melting more rapidly than predicted and sea levels rising, the plight of coastal towns like Keti Bandar is evidence that not enough is being done. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.